all my students. I hope you guys are doing really well and staying safe. I miss you all so much and I miss the ice so much and I cannot wait to get back on the ice and start training you all again. So today I have this super fun off ice training video for you guys to do. Parents, you can jump in as well. It's very good for strengthening your core, having really good balance, and the jump segment is very good for your cardio. So feel free to join along and <clears throat> Yeah, let's get moving. We're gonna do 10 seconds of each move and we're gonna repeat it a couple times with the music, so let's have it. Let's go. When the morning comes, Jumping jacks. And we see what we've become. In the cold light of day, we're aflame in the wind, not the fire that we begun. Every argument, now we're gonna switch to high every word we can't take back. Cause with all that has happened, I think that we both know the way that this story ends. And only for a minute. Now this next one is really fun because you're going to be like a little roly-poly but then you're going to do a stretch. So, you're going to be like this. You're going to roll all the way back. When you come back up, you're going to reach forward and touch your toes. Roll back, touch your toes. Roll back, two, roll back, three, roll back, four, Now it's time for jump training. This section will help the height of your jumps, the rotation, and your landing positions get stronger. So, and this is also part of cardio because you'll start to feel yourself breathing heavier. Don't get tired, take a sip of water and keep going. So let's get started. So I would like to see your highest, biggest jumps that you can do. We're gonna start off with big high jumps. You're gonna start with your arms forward, you're gonna squat and your arms will come back when you bend and squat. Then you're gonna jump as high as you can and when you jump really high, I want your arms to come in and your legs to come in. Then when you come back down, your arms, your arms stretch out into landing and you bend back into your knees. So I'll show you what one of them looks like. Arms are forward, you bend, your arm comes back, you jump and land. Facing you guys. Forward, then up, and so you're gonna repeat that ten times. All right. 
right, let's get started. going to be back in the air. So this will help your balance too. Then you're going to swing your leg through and as you're swinging your leg through you're going to jump off of this leg. It's going to look like this. One. And you can tap your foot down at the end um, but if you want to challenge your balance try to keep it out the whole time. That was five on the, the left foot. Now we're going to do five on the right. Okay, so now time to work on your air position. So if you are right-handed, you turn in the air to the left. It's kind of like opposite. If you're right-handed, you're going to turn to the left in the air. If you're left-handed like me, you're going to jump to the right. So we're gonna, since majority of you guys are right-handed, I'm gonna show you the right-handed way. And then at the end, I'll show you the left as well because I know I have a few students that are left-handed like me. Okay, so this one, you're gonna be working on your air position. Air position is so important when you start working on your single drums and double drums. So you're gonna have your right leg on the ground. Your left leg is gonna be like this. If you've already started working on back scratch, it's basically back scratch position in the air and then you come and land your drum. So we're going to do just a quick hop and you're going to do your air position. Left arm should be more in front, right arm to the side and then when you come into the jump your arms are going to be in here then when you land the jump, your arms are going to exit out and you're going to hit your landing position and hold as long as you can. So this is also testing your balance. So you're going to start here. Your left arm is going to be in front, your right arm out to the side. You're going to bend, air position, land. Let me do that again for you. Left arm is in front, right arm to the side. And you could do a little bounce, jump, land. So your leg is gonna start here and it's gonna go and then come back. It's gonna go. So this is mimicking the air position when you start doing jumps. You're in the air, you're like this, and then you come down and you land. So let's just do five of those. And I wanna see if you can hold the landing for five seconds on each one. So you're gonna start here, you're gonna bend, jump, and one, two, three, four, five. Make sure your toe is turning out to the side like mine is there. So parents, if you see this, not good. You want the toe to be turning out from the hip all the way to the toe, just like that. <laughs> all right, so let's do four more. One, oh, two, three, four, five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. If you're all over the place, it's okay to just try your hardest to hold that landing. Two, three, four, five. Two more. One, two, three. Fingers up. Four, five. You don't do droopy fingers. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. All right, so now it's time to work on rotation. We're gonna start off with the easiest, which is quarter rotations. So you're gonna start off facing forward. You're gonna jump up, face the side, 
jump up, face the back, jump up, face this side, and then jump up and come full circle. While you're doing that, I want you to focus on getting as much height as you can in your jump and also having really strong arms and a strong upper body. When you jump, you're gonna come in and out, in and out. So do that, do this arm um, motion with me. Out, in, out, in, out, in. That's what you're gonna do every time you jump. So let's do that. Let's do two times around, just doing quarters. Here we go. All right, now let's do two times and let's do it really fast. Good job. So you're gonna do that whichever way you naturally turn in your jump. So if you naturally turn this way, do it to the left. If you naturally turn this way, do it to the right. Good job. Okay, so the next one is halves. So this one is where it starts to get more challenging but do your best. We're gonna do four, four jumps in total. You're gonna spin around two times. Let's get started, ready, one. See how I have this nice bounce in my knee before I jump? You never wanna start with stiff legs. You wanna always make sure you have a nice bend in your knee and then jump out, jump out. Especially when you start doing higher rotation in the air, you wanna have a little moment to pause, regroup, job. So after you do your halves, now it's time to do the full rotations. So let's see first if we can do the full rotation with your feet just nice and straight. No air position yet. Just nice and straight. Bend your knees and get a full rotation. So you face me, you jump around, and you should end facing me. So let's try. See that? So I also add a tiny little hop before I do the full rotation. Watch closely, I do a little hop up. Let's try it again. Let's do five of those. So let's, we just did two, hop up. Three, hop up. Four, five, oh. I did six, <laughs> one for extra credit. So this one may be a little bit more challenging for my younger skaters, but give it a try, do your best. Um, my free skate skaters and axle skaters, this should be really easy for you. Maybe a little bit challenging with the balance landing at the end, but do your best. So we're gonna start off with, I'm gonna do it because I'm a lefty, I'm gonna do it with my right side. Make sure you guys do it with your left. So I'm gonna just show you what it'll look like. So you're gonna start with a nice bend. You can do a little hop before, and then when you jump in the air, this foot comes in front like here, and then you land. So nice and simple. When you jump, go straight up in the air. Try not to pre-rotate with your shoulders. Just go straight up and let the legs do your rotation for you. So you and see how I do a little bit of hopping at the end of that jump? That's natural, it's normal, feel free to do that. So you're gonna bend, hop to your balance. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. Three, one more. Good job. Okay, this next one is called skater jumps. It is super fun and you also have to really work on your balance on it. So it's basically on one leg, you're gonna jump wide and jump on the other leg and try to balance on that one leg and jump over. So if you want, you can put something down. Let me see what I have here. I have a pine cone here that I got when me and my husband went on our honeymoon. I'm gonna try to jump over this pine cone. So whatever you have at home, just to make you have something to jump over. So just do 10 of 
those. Jump, jump as high and as wide as you can and try to balance. Good job. All right, so this next section is just walking through all of your jumps. So in skating, there are six jumps. There is waltz jump, sow cow, toe loop, loop, flip, and lutz. Also axle, which is just a higher version of a waltz jump. So we're gonna see if we can do all of those jumps off the ice, which you can do. I used to do this all the time when I was training and competing and it was so fun. Sometimes I would even put music that I really loved, like at the time I really loved The Little Mermaid. So my mom had bought the CD, the whole soundtrack of Little Mermaid, and I would put the music on and I would just make up my own programs and put in my own jumps. I would do all my sow cows and doubles and had so much fun. So I encourage you guys to do that and throw some of these jumps in there. So we're gonna start off with a big waltz jump. So I want you to make sure you get a big kick through on the waltz jump. So I'm gonna do waltz jump your guys' way, the uh, right-handed way, even though I'm lefty. So I like to do a little tap toe before I go into my waltz jump. So arms are gonna be forward and then they pull back before you jump and land. If you are lefty, like here, that's my more comfortable side. So that's what it should look like for you guys. Tap toe, waltz jump. So your main goal is to see how high you can make your waltz jump. And you do that by really jumping into the jump with the right leg and kicking with the left. If you're righty, it's the other way. You're gonna jump off the left, kick with the right as high as you can. All right, let's move on to sow cow. So with the sow cow, you wanna make sure your right arm is in front, left arm is to the side. You're gonna do little hops to mimic your three turn. You're gonna go forward, back, forward, waltz jump. So that gives you the feeling of a sow cow. One, two, three, up, and land. I'm gonna do that lefty way. A lot more stable for me. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do toe loops. So for toe loops, you're gonna have your left arm in front here. You're gonna step onto your right leg. Three, turn, jump. Like that. Right-handed way. Three, turn, jump. Just like that. Now for loop jump, you're gonna just work on getting that right side to be pulled back. Left arm in front. Balance on that right side. Then you could do some little hops and then pull up, back. This is a really, really good exercise. Make sure the left side stays over. Doesn't open up like this. You wanna keep this side locked and loaded. So that's the lefty, no righty way. This is the lefty way, right and right. Okay, next we're gonna go on to your flip jump. So for righties, left arm in front again, right arm to the side, mimic the way you go into flip, jump off the right leg. For lefties, I'll do it coming this way. All right, for a lutz, you really want to make sure that you pull the right side back and then pull around. So here, pull back, jump. All right, so those are all the jumps except axle. Now let's try axle. Be careful when you're doing your axle off ice and make sure there's nothing around that you can hit and fall on and bump your head so be very safe make sure you have an open area 
For Axel, I like to do a little tap toe, big kick there, okay? So this is what it'll look like. Axel is one and a half rotation in the air. Let's do it again. All right, that's all the jumps. Okie dokie, now we're gonna take a break from all that jumping and we're gonna come to the floor and do some core exercises. So we're gonna do two different sets with four different exercises. So the first one is going to be called the butterfly. You're gonna lay on your back. You're gonna get your elbows up. Legs are gonna be out here. And we're gonna do 10 flutters. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now we're gonna do a side plank. So you're gonna get your elbow, put it on the ground, and I would like you to grab something. It could be your favorite toy, a can of soup. I have a little pine cone, and you're gonna lift it up to the to the sky. Then you're gonna tuck it underneath you. You're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So this is gonna really help your core when you do your rotations in the air for jumps. You're gonna do five on both sides. So now you're gonna get the other elbow. Feet are gonna go lift up your hips, right arm up, twist one, two, just a little twist, three, four, five. So we're gonna repeat that one more time. So we're gonna start again from the butterfly. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can keep your, leg, your arms up and see if you could balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, that was harder. Now you're gonna get, again, one, two, three, four, five. All right, switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. All right, this next set is gonna start off with an exercise called the Russian twist. It's also really good for your core and rotation. So you're gonna lay on your back, just like this. You get your feet straight up. You wanna pretend there's glue on your feet and they can't come apart. So you wanna keep them nice and close together. And then you're gonna go to the side, back up. Side, back up. That was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You don't want your legs to come apart like this. Keep them together. Nine, ten. Good job. All right, the next one is called a bridge twist. So you're gonna sit with your feet in front, hands and fingers facing back that way. You're gonna lift and make your body a bridge. Get one arm and lift it to the sky. And then you're gonna come back all the way down. That was one, tw lift, twist, two, three, four, Five. Good job. Now we're gonna do the Russian twist again for a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Good job. Five more plank, I mean bridge twists. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, guys. Okay, guys, you're almost done. Last but not least is my balance challenge. So this one really helps your balance and flexibility. You're gonna start off with grabbing your toes, pulling it forward and holding it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna pull, you're gonna keep your foot up and you're gonna pull your foot to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna pull your foot back into a Chinese spiral for one, two, three, four, five. And you're done with the right foot. So if you even wanna go harder, you can hold each one for 10 seconds or you can go forward, side, back, and then side, forward. So you come back and forward. So let's try that on the left side. So I'm gonna do it facing you guys. Actually, I'll do it this way. So you're gonna get your left foot, hold it forward for one, two, three, four, five. Pull it to the side for one, two, three, four, five. And then pull it back for one, two, three, four, five. That's harder than it looks. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this off ice training workout. It was so fun to do and I hope mostly to see you all super soon. Stay safe and if you're ever bored, watch some ice skating. Find your favorite skater and have your parents send me um, who your favorite skater is, what kind of styles that you like. I know when we went on quarantine, we were starting to make programs. Um, so maybe keep your program fresh in your mind, run through your program. If you need your music, I could send it to you. So stay safe and have a safe quarantine.